Hello and welcome to Chendu.org. In this video, we will look at how to get a different calculation for subtotals. This is a DAX trick that you can apply in Excel. You may apply this in Power BI as well, but uh, probably this is more of an Excel pivot table scenario. So let's go and understand what I mean by this. Here is a pivot table. You could see that at an individual month level, so the, we're looking at a, by each month how much these sales people have done. And uh, we can see their numbers, but the subtotal for the month would be just a sum of all the total sales. What if I want to see the name of the person who has best sales, that is most sales. So in the case of January 2019, that would be Matt because uh, he has the highest number. Same for February, but uh, further down somewhere uh, here, in, in case of uh, June 2019, Maria has the highest number, 16,725. So that's the name that comes up there. So this is uh, where the subtotal will be showing a different value compared to the actual values. So how do we do this? To do this, obviously, you need to have a data model set up and create a pivot table from that. The very first thing is, although this is not necessary, it is good to create a total sales measure. So we will create a total sales measure, which is nothing but uh, uh, some of the sales table net sales column. Okay. Um, I just need to close this bracket. So this is a simple sum formula that just adds up the net sales uh, column in the sales table and tells us what is that number. And that would be that number. And then we will create an intermediate measure just to see whether we are looking at an individual person or we are looking at a subtotal level. Now, the way this works is, uh, this is uh, called a group of salespersons, that is the measure. I will just add it here in between so we can see. It will be false for all of these ones because these are individual people, but at a month level, it will be true because it is actually comprising multiple people within that month, okay? So that's the um, that's the way this, this thing works. The way to create this measure is, um, we can use one of these not is filtered sales salesman. So we want to ask, look at the sales salesman column uh, and then see if it is being filtered and then return the not of it, the negation of that value. So what happens is in this case, for example, we are looking at Joseph's record. So that would be false because Joseph is being filtered. So hence is filtered for Joseph would be true. Not of that would be false. Whereas here, we are not looking at an individual person. So this will be true because uh, it is not being filtered. So false becomes true here. So once you have a true false thingy like this, you can then create the third measure, which will be either this number or the name of the person. So we want this number if this is false. And otherwise, we want the name of the person who has most sales within that that grouping criteria so it could be group and month and within month people or it could be product and within product those people whichever way you use it will work so to do that we will create this measure total sales or best sales person measure the way this is defined is you can just go and edit this uh, we will start by checking the criteria here i'm not really sure if yeah, i can expand this okay so if group of sales persons uh, if if group of salespersons, that means are we looking at multiple people or a single person? If that happens to be true, that means we are looking at multiple people, then we want to calculate that bit. Else we want to show the total sales. Now the else part is very clear. If, if we are looking at an individual, we just want to show that number. If I'm looking at a group, that means this is going to be in the subtotal field. In that case, we want to um do the salesman name um, now the way this can work is in within power bi you have selected value measure unfortunately um within excel power power pivot it, we don't have selected value so we are using this but we will work from inside out <clears throat> so what we want is we want to first filter the salesman sales co salesman column for the number one salesman. So top end function will, will do that. It is a table function. That means it will return a table. 
and uh, we want to have top one person of all the salesmen remember we are looking at group of salesperson so we need to look at all of them uh, and then rank them by total sales in descending order so that's that's that bit so this will essentially calculate total sales for all of those four or five sales people and then come up with the single row that has the best salesperson so once this does its job we then want to pass this to calculate um, to say that calculate first non-blank sales salesman true this is a roundabout way of saying salesman um, we could use values or something and because there is only one person it will be it will work but this is actually a better way uh, it will return a single value every time so first non blank salesman so obviously just whatever the row is uh, by looking at that as a filter so we use within calculate uh, the first parameter is the expression and the second parameter or third and fourth ones they will all be filters so we are saying you know get me the salesman value uh, from from the sales table by filtering so that only that particular uh, top one person remains and once that is remaining it will work like this and it will give me now i just want to make a note here that i am not a dax expert by any means but this is a question that i got on my youtube channel so i thought i would go and attempt uh, some dax to come up with an answer like this i hope you found this particular uh, variation of uh, having a different result for uh, subtotal versus individual numbers useful give it a try with your pivot tables i'll demonstrate how this this can work uh, we can go into blank space somewhere here i'll quickly insert a pivot table from the data model and uh, and then we will uh, we can use by region and then salesman so by individual regions we are looking at uh, the sales people and uh, for for them we can go and get this so ideally this uh, this should uh, show up there as soon as i saw that there is no salesperson showing up here i got a little scared like you know what happened maybe my measure was wrong but i could see that lawrence name is showing up at the very bottom and as you could see lawrence is the best salesperson uh, if you add up all the individual numbers you will see that lawrence has highest sales across the organization so it does work why is it not showing up here it's simply because the subtotals were turned off so i think this seems to be the default behavior when you use the data model pivots but if i put subtotals on top of the um, group then i can see that joseph uh, who has the highest number comes up there uh, similarly, Lawrence, who has the highest number in North, will come up there, and um, and Matt, who has the highest number in West, will come up there. So this can be used like that. You can even add uh, another layer on top so that you could see by individual product who is having that for fast car product, for rapid chew, for super glue, and then at a higher level who is having within the region so this is how that uh, measure works it uh, it will switch out between total sales or the name of the person depending on whether you are looking at a single um, person's record or you are looking at a single person's measure or you are looking at multiple persons and then accordingly change the nature of that the key takeaway here is to use the if construct to switch between the nature of measure so you can return different results based on what's going on at that point of time in the calculation i hope you found this useful thank you so much for watching this video and uh, feel free to download a copy of this file from the video description below thanks bye bye